Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Arik here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day or night so far. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the Fortnite news that you missed within the last 48 hours. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video. And as well, if you guys are new to my channel and don't know why I do, I keep you guys up to date with everything regarding Fortnite news. And with Season 10 just arriving, and throughout Season 10, you won't be disappointed by subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you on this channel as well. And with all that said, let's get right into the first topic, and that's going to be today's item shop. So in today's item shop, as you guys see on screen right now, we got a new skin set and as well as we got a new emote. If you guys like the item shop and you want to buy anything or in the future item shops and you want to support me, my supporter credit code is on the garden of spaces. I really appreciate it a lot. If you guys do end up buying anything with my code, make sure you send me a video or a picture on any of my social medias. They'll be all linked down below in the description because I want to thank you guys personally because I really appreciate it a lot. So now let's get right into the second topic and that's going to be Epic Games made changes to the Brute, but they lied to us about the changes. I'm going to explain that right now. So yesterday, if you guys haven't seen this, Epic Games actually talked about the Brute and Competitive and what they're actually going to be doing, and they said they're adding in a targeting laser, as I see on screen right now. It says, we will add a targeting laser that will show the direction of the Brute is aiming its rockets while they are being charged. This laser will have directional audio to help indicate when it's being pointed at you, even if you're behind a structure. So they said they're adding this laser into the game, right? Well, Lucas 7 Yoshi, as well as a lot of other people on the internet, Lucas 7 Yoshi noticed this in the loading screen. You could see the laser was already in the robot. They already planned this and they wanted to put it in the game. So it was already on the robot and they just added in because they knew this was going to happen. And I don't want to focus too much on the brew. I know everybody else has been covering it recently, but I want to show you guys one more screenshot of the actual laser in the files. I still find it crazy how they're doing this. Let me know what you think about this laser being added. You think it's going to improve the brute? You think it's not going to improve the brute? Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on that. But now let's get right into the next topic, and that's going to be till the town is going to be changing into something else. I'm going to explain that right now. So how we actually know this is from the challenges. If you guys want to know, a brand new challenge came out today for the shootout at the Sundown Challenge set, whatever, and it was called Search Ammo Boxes at Tilted or Junk Junction. Keep this in mind. It just said Tilted. If Tilted Town was going to be in the game the whole entire season, they would have said Search Ammo Boxes at Tilted Town. Like, for instance, last season, we had to, like, search chests at Neo Tilted because Neo Tilted was in the game the whole entire season. It just says Search Ammo Boxes at Tilted. So, so does that mean Tilted Town is going to be changed? Changing. And as well, we know this because Tilted Town came into the game originally from a rift beacon in Neo Tilted. So Tilted Town is coming from a rift in the sky. If that rift closes up, that means Tilted Town is not going to be here anymore. So does that mean Tilted Town's going to magically go somewhere when the rift closes? I think so, and the challenges show it as well. So I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to discuss about this in a video, but I want you to let me know down in the comments real quick. Do you like Tilt the Town? Do you not like Tilt the Town? Do you want it to be out of the game? What do you think of it? Let me know your thoughts on that down below. I would love to know. But now let's get right to the next topic, and that's going to be from Crispy Leaks. He said, reminder, in V9.40, we saw these strings add to the files. Is the skydive leader, is your skydive leader, to pass the skydive leader, to jump without skydive leader, you are the skydive leader. And then he gets into nothing new got added in V10, but we can expect this feature somewhere this season. If you guys don't know what it is, I'm going to put a picture on screen right now. It's basically where you can glide down from like the bus as a group and somebody controls the whole entire group as you're gliding down and you can like disengage, anything like that. That should be coming very, very soon to the game. Now let's get right into the next topic and that's going to be all the unreleased skins coming to Fortnite very, very soon. I'm going to roll a clip letting you guys know these are all the unreleased skins coming to Fortnite. I am aware in this clip, some skins already came out, but, but most of the most of the skins in this clip haven't came out already. So now let's get right into that clip. I'll talk to you guys right after.
So those are all the unreleased skins coming to Fortnite very, very soon. Probably in about next week, I'm going to make a video showing you guys all the items like gliders, pickaxes, skins, emotes, all those stuff coming to Fortnite very, very soon in one big video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But the last topic I have for you guys in this video, that's going to be all of the shootout for sundown challenges. So depending on when you're watching this video, some of these challenges could be out already, but then some of them could not be. So the first one I have for you guys is going to be place top 10 and solo or duo matches twice. Next one is get two pistol eliminations. Next one is search ammo boxes at tilted or junk junction seven different times. Next one is deal damage to descending supply drops with 200 damage. And the next one is pick up item of each rarity. So you got to pick up a common, uncommon, rare, epic, and then legendary. Next one is land at tilted or fatal fields in different matches through three different times. And the last one is deal damage with assault rifles to opponents with 500 damage. So with all that said and all those great topics, that's where I'm going to end the video there. I'm not going to drag it out any longer. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video and I showed you guys new information and new stuff you didn't know before, make sure you drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys are new to my channel and don't know what I do yet, I keep you guys up to date with everything regarding foreign news. And with Season 10 just here and throughout Season 10, you won't be disappointed by subscribing. I'd love to have you on this channel as well. And as always, if you guys have any questions regarding any of these topics, let me know down below in the comments. I will definitely enjoy and love help helping you assist with that. Have a great spectacular a good day or night and i will talk to you guys tomorrow with a couple of brand new uploads and i cannot wait to see you guys there peace